Roblox plans to add NFT-like limited edition items. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Album. In today's video, we're going to talk about Roblox plans of adding NFT-type limited edition items. Alright, let's begin. In its annual developer conference, Roblox painted a picture of the fast-growing online multiplayer portal which is similar to Catnip for kids and teens. In short, Roblox co-founder and CEO David Bazuki outlined proposals to fix up players' avatars, introduce new in-game monetization streams, and simplify the experience for developers, who are dreaming for the user-generated content that turned the company into a huge success in the intersections of gaming and social networking. Roblox is recognized for its blocky, unsophisticated character models and graphics. However, this style has saturated the firm's explosive growth. Roblox is working to make players' avatars more customizable and choices that can fit well with the company's aspirations, to keep the platform impressive as its young core user base ages up, and to help many forms of self-expressions across its endless center of virtual worlds. Roblox has announced a few important changes in this direction. The first one is Layered Clothing, an official update that will make avatar outfits more realistic and dynamic, which means your favorite Roblox virtual jean jacket will fit your character model whether you're a humanoid edition of yourself or a dinosaur. The recently announced Roblox avatar updates hope to infiltrate both more customizations and more realism into the blocky Lego-like looks that are similar with the platform now. Brownstein illustrated the changes as the huge evolutions of the avatars at the core of the Roblox social experience. Basuki has said that self-identity is an important pillar of the metaverse and the skill to actually customize your clothing to your unique avatar is paramount in personal expression. Talking about the blooming business of selling in-game items, Roblox has a lot of financial reasons to make its virtual fashion scene more sophisticated and lifelike. It also has to keep up with opponents like Epic Games, which sets the bar with both its Fortnite character layouts and its brand partnerships, which can bring in $15 million in a single attempt. Roblox also has its own brand and IP deals. In the threat of creating more realism, Roblox is also giving creators better access to what it calls dynamic hats or facial animations for avatar that could even be incorporated with facial quests to make a character model's mouth move along with what it's saying. Roblox is tapping its extensions of Loom.ai, which is a digital avatar startup. The company says that devs will start playing around with the new facial animations, starting with some head designs that provoke the platform's blocky route. The first iterations of facial animations in Roblox won't be rolling out to users, but the company wants to get it into creators' hands. Roblox purchases digital avatar startup Loom.ai Roblox continuing the big voice chat rollout it announced last year, the firm is quickly pushing its previously text chat-centered experience towards more realistic and immersive interactions. The company also pointed out that all competent users who are 13 years old and up are now able to opt into an age verification process that will give some players early access to new features as they make their way to the full player to the full player base. Verified users can start getting access to Roblox's new voice chat abilities. Voice chat has already arrived on Roblox. Beyond enhancing the avatar experience, Roblox also announced plans to introduce limited edition items, which is an interesting new way for people to make money from its bustling in-game economy. Roblox creators can put items for sale for a period of time or in a limited run. Building an aspect of collections into the game's well-organized virtual economies. Creator can also create money off of successive sales by enabling royalties, which is a perk that Roblox that Roblox's in-game items will share with some NFTs. The idea is that you will eventually be able to set the rules of what happens in the resale of an item. Creators can also enjoy more flexibility while building content from the platform through a new system Roblox calls Open Cloud. Open Cloud will allow creators to generate content in third-party tools and then plug that into Roblox, instead of being limited to Roblox Studio, which is the company's developer environment. The company is making a drive for the cloud, granting content creators on Roblox with more data storage and making the platform an attractive, versatile developer destination. Roblox also published some graphic improvements that developers can start to play. This includes more realistic collision physics and aerodynamics that could depict a visual like a parachute deploying. In 2021, the firm was on track to pay out $500 million to creators who organize content for its user-generated game worlds. Alright, that's it for today's video. But before we confess our final goodbye, please note new videos are uploaded regularly on a wide variety of Roblox topics. Comment on our video to let us know what you want to see next. If you like watching our content, 
please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.